hello birds, God said, and with a fluttering and flapping and chirping and singing, birds filled the sky. Hello fish, God said, and with a darting and a dashing and a wriggling and a splashing, fish filled the seas. You're good, God said, and they were. Then God said, hello animals, and everyone came out to play. The earth was filled with noisy noises, growling and gobbling and snapping and snorting and happy scurfluffing. You were good, said God, and they were. God saw all that God had made and loved them, and they were lovely because God loved them. But God saved the best for last. From the beginning, God had a shining dream in God's heart. God would make people to share God's forever happiness. They would be God's children and the world would be their perfect home. Hi, I'm Anthony, and I'm with Jennifer, Lindsay, and Rebecca. Welcome to day five of our church WOW Camp. Today we'll be talking about birds and sea creatures. Our Old Testament reading comes from Genesis chapter 1, verses 20 through 23. And God said, let the water teem with living creatures, and let birds fly above the earth across the vault of the sky. So God created the great creatures of the sea and every living thing with which the water teems and that moves about in it, according to their kinds, and every winged bird according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and increase in number, and fill the water in the seas, and let the birds increase on the earth. And there was evening, and there was morning, the fifth day. As Rebecca just read, God created the birds and the creatures of the sea and said, it was good. In 2016, our family traveled to Houston, Texas. While in Houston, we visited the Houston Zoo. There was an exhibit there called Washed Ashore. The room was filled with giant art pieces made of, from plastic and other trash found on beaches. Through these beautiful artistic creations, we learned about how some of the things we were doing in our everyday life were harming the birds and the water creatures around us. Our trash, if not recycled or disposed of properly, can end up in our creeks and rivers and eventually into our oceans. Plastic bottles can take over 400 years to break down. Aluminum cans can take 80 plus years. Plastic bags, 10 to 20 years. Even a paper towel can take weeks to break down. Wildlife can mistake trash for food or can become trapped in trash, leaving them vulnerable to prey or keeping them from being able to eat or drink. As God's children, we are called to care for all of God's creations. One way we can do this is by making sure we clean up after ourselves, making sure that our trash is recycled or disposed of properly. You can learn more about this exhibit by visiting the website on the card in your box or by going to washedashore.org. Our activity today is recycle art. We're going to take old things and make them into beautiful pieces of art. In your wow camp box, you will find a Ziploc bag with plastic pieces and glue dots. Use these supplies plus other plastic items in your house to create your own bird or sea animal. We hope you had as much fun as we did making recycle art. 
This is our last day of WOW Camp 2020 Family Edition. We at Conway First United Methodist Church would love to have you join us this Sunday for our online worship service at 9.30 a.m. You can find us on our church Facebook page or at conwayfumc.org. Our New Testament verse is from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. If you will turn to day 5 in the Wild Camp booklet, located on page 13, we can read it together. So, if anyone is in Christ, there is a new creation. Everything old has passed away. See, everything has become new. This is a great reminder that through Christ, every person, every creature, and everything in creation can have beauty and purpose. Hi, I'm Maddox. I'm thinking for learning about God with us this week. I want to close our camp week with a prayer. Please bow your head. Mighty Creator God, we thank you for the light and the dark for the sea and the sky, for the land and the trees, for the moon and the stars and the sun, for the birds of the air and the fish of the sea. It is good, and we thank you for making us a part of your good creation. Amen. <laughs>